What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Z Man World, and I'm back with another reaction video. Temptation Island season finale, the final bonfire and reunion. I'm gonna just react to the reunion because it closes up the bonfire, and yeah, it's the last episode. So. On the last Temptation Island reaction video, I only had got one comment. So I'm going to leave the comment up here. It's pretty long. I'm going to let y'all read that. Let y'all see that. Yeah, take a look at it. All right. Now, the first couple we're going to talk about is Hall and Caitlyn. Okay. So they're, they're a really hard couple for me to think about, like, the stuff that they were talking about, it was really hard for me to wrap that around my head. Like, I, I couldn't really understand it. And it was very, very hard to think about. So I'm going to just tell y'all my opinion. And hey, when I'm making these type of videos and I'm sharing my opinion, it's not because I'm a date expert. I am not a date expert. I watch these dating shows so I could have better dating tips and so I could get better at dating. So... I'm trying to become a dating expert by watching this and, and shit like that, but I'm, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to have to put this in the beginning or closer to the when I start the video, but if you don't want to see spoilers for the season finale, watch the season finale first. Okay, now back to the video. So Hall. Hall said that for all the eight years that he been with Caitlyn, he did not want to marry her. Like, he really didn't want to marry her. But the truth is, I've never wanted to marry you. You've never been my person. You've never been my soulmate. I propose to you with all I have and all I saved up for. And you've never started planning the wedding, okay? So that is why I ultimately accepted coming to Temptation Island. I did not come to this island looking for love. That's the last thing I wanted. And this is what I think. I think that either Caitlyn, nah, y'all gonna disagree with me and y'all gonna think that I'm on Hall's side for saying this. I think either Caitlyn was controlling and Hall just didn't, um, wait, hold up. Let me, let me get my thoughts together. I'm, I can't really think about it right now. I think that either Hall was, no, I think either Caitlyn was controlling and that Hall was just a people pleaser like he said and he didn't want to um, disappoint Caitlyn so that's why he stayed with her. Or I think that Caitlyn was Hall only option. I think that's the reason. I think that has to be the reason because Hall didn't want to. I think that no other girl really liked Hall. And I think it was hard for Hall to find somebody else better than Caitlyn or someone like Caitlyn. So he just had to stick with her. I think that, that she was his only option, which is why he was saying stuff like he proposed to her because he thought it was the right thing to do and, and that, um, she, that he didn't really want to marry her stuff like that i think she was his only option because why else would it be the right thing to do like what i don't really get that i still don't understand that i still need to think about it but if i keep harping on it then it's just gonna make my mind explode but it, it, it just didn't make any sense and he keeps saying he know what he want yeah he's so fucking country like when he say want it sound like he's saying won't he know what he want. <laughs> so I've been laughing at that with the South Carolina accent. They say he say he's from Charleston. It, it all on the camera like this, bro. Yeah, so um I think that or it could be that Yeah, it could really hurt to tell a girl that she well a woman that she is not the one that you wanted to marry after eight years and that you didn't want to marry her the whole eight years. You didn't want to be with her the whole eight years. That sucks. But I see how people feel for her. And people saying that he an asshole. I don't think he's an asshole. I just think that he don't know what he want. <laughs> I think he don't know what he want. I think he's confused. And I think that, 
yeah, I think that he doesn't really know what he wants. I know he want Michaela, but I'm starting to sound like him. He want Michaela, <laughs> but he 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 just he he's just a weirdo, which is why other girls didn't want him. And Caitlyn was probably his only option. He's weird, and the way he thinks is all over the place. And with Hall, I think that. Yeah, I don't think he's an asshole. I think he's a cool person because I saw it in the season. He's just a he's just a confused person. He he doesn't really know what he want, even though he says he knows that he won't. Because if he knew what he want, if he knew what he wanted, he would have stayed with Caitlyn. Or he would have left Caitlyn and never went back to her. When they broke up the first time, they said that he broke her heart twice. If so we don't know for sure who went back to who. We don't know if Hall went back to Caitlyn or if Caitlyn went back to Hall. But what we do know is that based on the the way that they've been carrying themselves and talking and, you know, the episode ran and the, and the season ran, it seems like Hall maybe went back to Caitlyn. But we don't know for sure. But whoever went back to who, that's how you could tell if Hall really know what he wanted. If Hall went back to Caitlyn, he didn't know what he wanted. And that would be the answer to all the way, to all of the actions that he made. But he said that he, he he does everything and she wasn't doing anything. If that's the case. And she brought him to the show. She brought him to Temptation Island. So that's why I say that she's probably controlling. Because why she just couldn't break up with him or find somebody else. Why she had to bring him to the show. You know what I'm saying? And and I get what Michaela was saying. She He brought her a ring. But she brought him to the show. She really didn't want him, maybe. I don't know. It's all over the place. I really can't wrap my head around it. But Michaela was defending Hall. And of course, Michaela going to defend Hall because that's her man. It makes sense for her to defend him. And Sebastian was saying that um, he was trying to get... Oh, I need, hold up. I need to get my chapstick. Yeah, I didn't want y'all making fun of me saying I got spit on my lips. So anyways... Yeah, Sebastian was saying he was trying to get Michaela not to defend Hall. But I understand why Sebastian defend Hall. I mean, no. I understand why the Sebastian defended Caitlyn. But it makes sense why Sebastian would defend Caitlyn too. Because he in love with her. And it, and it makes sense why Michaela would defend Hall. Because she's in love with him. But what I'm thinking is... It doesn't make sense for Sebastian to... To, um defend Caitlyn because we don't know what's going on with their relationship behind doors. We don't know if she was controlling or not. We don't know that. And we only know what we know from the show. So why defend them? But I understand why Michaela defend... I, I don't know. The Michaela and Hall thing, it makes sense to me for whatever reason. Y'all could say that Hall is an asshole. But what I think is when it comes to these dating shows, they make the people that are not assholes look like assholes. You see it on The Bachelor. You see it on Bachelorette. You see it on Temptation Island. They try to make you t seem like an asshole just because you're making mistakes and just because you're making stupid decisions. So that's that with Hall. I'm about to get into the next couple. I think the next couple I'm going to do is... Great in Paris. So Tajik, y'all know Paris said she wanted Great to be loyal, but guess what she said? She said she wanted to suck Tajik. And Tajik said that she didn't suck. So Tajik ghosted Paris, which is surprising because in the season he was like, oh, I love Paris, this dad, I'm going to kiss her, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with her, I'm going to spend the rest of the life with her off the island, and, you know, he made a drawing of how the house would look like in Miami, I think, I think that's where it was, so that's a surprise, that's a shock, but also we saw when Tajik would not like things that Paris would do, even though they would say sorry to each other, you know, she would get mad. She would get pissed off. She would piss him off. So I kind of see why he would, wouldn't would do that. And when he was saying something about, um, what, what was that he said? He said that 
when he was with her, he was making different, um, uh, he was making different, uh, what's, what's the word? He was, he was taking different lanes and he was still having a bump in the road. I get what he was saying. Now everybody else didn't get what he was saying. He was like, do y'all get what I'm saying? Everybody was like, no. He was trying to say that he was trying to build a connection with her and make different ways of building a connection with her so that way both of them would be on the same page and no, and sometimes they weren't on the same page because she was pissing him off and they weren't connecting they weren't agreeing some of the times and he felt like it wasn't the right fit so that's what i think he meant by making bumps they weren't seeing eye to eye the whole a lot of times that's what i think he was trying to say now with great y'all know great and nafisa they just nat they was had the honeymoon phase is what he said and then they naturally stopped talking. There's nothing really to say about that. But you know, when I saw the bonfire, I kind of thought that maybe Paris and Great would get back together because Paris kept talking about how she missed him so much and they cuddling and how he's still handsome. So that's enough with that. There, there wasn't really much to talk about that. Now this is another thing that was hard to talk about. The Christopher and Maricella. Let me get to another clip about that. So basically, Christopher had unprotected sex with Alexis on the island. <coughs> it's a cough and a hiccup. I don't know. So Christopher had unprotected sex with Alexis on the island. It got her pregnant. And they left the island together while she was pregnant. And then when he went back to Atlanta, Maricela came over. They slept together. And I don't know if she got pregnant from that, but she did say that they got pregnant. And I remind you, they were in a relationship before they came to the show, so he probably got her pregnant before the show. They didn't specify when it was that she got pregnant too, but he got them pregnant. I mean, she, he got Alexis pregnant, and he wasn't supportive of the baby. So she, he also wanted uh, Maricela to send him nudes before they, they had sex in Atlanta. And, um, when she left, he had called, um, Maricela's mom to get the, the, her possessions from the house. I think that's what he was saying. But she, she the, the mom and the family was talking shit about Maricela either because he was talking shit or just because, I don't know. But, um, that's what happened. And, um... She, he didn't like that she called his dad because he had a bad relationship with his dad. But she probably just did it because he called her mom. And I don't know how they are. I don't know how. Yeah, it, it's probably obvious. He talked to them and she talked to them. They probably get along with each other's families. But the thing is, what I think is, I think that he called Maricela's mom because he wanted to get back with Maricela. Which makes no sense. But he contradicted himself and he lied in the show. Watch it yourself. I had to replay it a couple of times to really understand. But, you know, all this happened after the show. And he basically cheated on Alexis with Maricela. And I don't understand why Maricela would have sex with him and send him news. After she said she wanted to work on herself. Now that doesn't make any sense to me at all. That doesn't. If you said that you need to find love within yourself. Before you start loving somebody else. But then you get physical with them. What sense does that make? So she really did. That didn't make any sense. I don't see why nobody pointed that out. Everybody want to get mad at the man. But the women that the man is involved with. Never get, sees any repercussions. I think that's the right word. Or consequences. That doesn't make sense. They should have brought that up on the show. But women are always innocent and men are always the troublemakers. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. There's some other thoughts that I wanted to say, but I forgot them. I wish I could say them in a video, but I'm probably not. I might put them in the comments. But um, I have some thoughts that's going to make y'all get mad at me if I say some shit. Like, really. But other than that... You know, I think that Christopher is a weirdo too. He makes a lot of weird decisions. He was making shows. I mean, he was making, well, yeah, he was making episodes and shows during the show. But um, 
the way he thinks is weird. I mean, he's a very smart, intelligent person. That's what I think. But he makes stupid decisions just like Hall. I think that he just wants the girls for their body. And, yeah, y'all gonna get mad at me for that. I think nothing is wrong with wanting a woman for their body as long as you're honest with them about wanting them for their body. You know what I'm saying? Now, you could get in trouble for being honest with them about wanting their body. But at the same time, it doesn't make sense to be in a sexual relationship. Well, a sexual relationship could mean anything. But it doesn't make sense to be in an emotional relationship, a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship with somebody just to get in their pants. That doesn't make sense to me. But I don't think anything is wrong with that. I mean, I do think something is wrong with getting in a relationship just to get into their pants. But I don't think anything is wrong with them if all you want to do is have sex. But he's not being respectful about it. And then he went on the show saying that he had sex with her. That is personal. You keep that to yourself. You don't say that shit unless they caught that on camera and they showing it. Like I'm about to talk about it in the next couple. But... That's something you don't see on national television. You don't see you have sex with somebody. That's embarrassing to see that. You know, and it's enough that Maury Sellers' family already probably think that she's a hoe if they were talking shit about her. So, that's that. Alright, I forgot to say this in the video. I'm going to try to keep it quick because my mom is making lots of noise on the phone. So, anyways, Christopher had asked Alexis... If the child is really his and he said it's a legitimate question but when he asked it everyone was acting like they had a problem with it as if he was you know being rude but it actually is a legitimate question because they were in the house and he didn't know if she had a connection with oh my god for mom making noise he didn't know if she had a connection with anyone else in the house other than him and he didn't know until the show and we didn't know until the show we saw that she was only with him but what if she really wasn't and then he said something else about um she sent a representative but they cut him off because they said he was rude so yeah now next to, to the next couple like i was saying they showed this there's nothing much to say about this couple roberto and vanessa they showed roberto having sex with What's her name? I forgot her name. I love, I love her. So have you, um, have you slept in the same bed as her? Uh, yes. I don't know if you've seen that. Okay. <laughs> Take us out. So, to make it, uh. Why? For right. what reason? Oh, sit down. Oh my this God. Is no, no, check us out. Can you sit down? Damn. But. They, they showed a video of Roberto having sex. And and I, I, I'm trying to remember her name, but I'm probably not. Desiree. They showed a video of Roberto having sex with Desiree or Des. And she was honest about it. And that broke Vanessa. But what I liked about it is that Vanessa finally found out what Roberto was trying to explain to her the whole time. Vanessa figured out that she was controlling. I don't know. I feel like three different relationships have had control in it. Um, maybe even Paris. Paris said that she wanted to force marriage and kids with great. I think nothing wrong with that. But that can be controlling if someone doesn't want to do that and you're literally forcing them. But, yeah, all the relationships had control in it in some type of way. And I like that about the show. The show is good. It showed those different connections and how to be less aggressive in a way where it could harm the relationship. I think I'm saying this right. I don't fucking know. But, yes, yeah, I'm getting off topic. Desiree had sex with Roberto. Vanessa figured out what it was that was holding the relationship down and, and tearing them apart. And even though they probably can't fix it and get back into the relationship with each other, they know what they know what they have to do to be honest and up front with somebody for the next uh, relationship. I'm all over the place. I'm going to be back. Okay, I'm back. So, Roberto kept fighting for his relationship with Vanessa. 
even though he was fighting to get her to stop being so controlling and so aggressive and it wasn't working out. He just kept going and going, biting and clawing, clawing, telling Desiree that it was a 10% chance that he would get back with Vanessa. In actuality, he really just wanted to get back with Vanessa. His whole idea about going to Temptation Island or whoever idea it was, we don't know if it was Vanessa or Roberto that chose to go to, to Temptation Island just like it was Caitlyn's choice with Hall. We don't know whose choice it was, but he probably just wanted to go to um, Temptation Island so he could fix the relationship when there's really nothing to be fixed. Even though the cheating and uh, sex with Desiree helped Vanessa realize what it was that was holding them back, he, he just wanted to be with her the whole time. Because I, I kind of understand why in the show he said that he don't want to give up something that he's been doing for a year. He don't want to give up a relationship that he's been in with a, for a year for a girl he just met. And that's the same thing Vanessa was saying. It's like, how would he sleep or do something with a girl he just met? So that's what his thinking was. His thinking was that he don't want to give up on something that he built for a year or more. And the whole time, he probably just wanted to get with Vanessa. But in actuality, when he was saying these things, saying that she's toxic, saying that she she never lets him talk, saying that she's this, that, and the third. He should have just left her. He should have just went with Desiree. I know the connection might not be better with Desiree and that he just met Desiree, but he has something with Desiree that's not toxic. So why not be with that? But instead he chose Vanessa. I don't understand that. Now, I, w I wish I could explain it better, but that's all I got to say for the video. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed the talk. Uh, comment what you think about the video. Comment what you think about the couples. Comment what you think about what I said. Um, don't be the only comment, okay? Comment about the comment that I had put in the beginning of the video. Um, if it's a long comment, just say it was a long comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I don't really give a fuck if y'all comment. But share this video and this channel with the rest of your friends and followers. And remember, we be original.